Hi everyone, thinking about making the big move to the UK but not sure where to start? Now, whether you're dreaming of life in London or the rolling hills of the English countryside, today's video is for you. The average salary in the UK is £35,000 and many visas allow you to take your family along with you. And you don't have to pay for education or healthcare in the UK, it's all free. Now if I've got your attention, that's great because today we're diving into the five easiest jobs for foreigners and expats to get in the UK in 2024 that offer visa sponsorship, the salary that you can expect to earn, top companies in that space, the advantages of working in the UK and where to look for jobs. Plus. A little surprise, so remember to watch all the way till the end. If you're new, I'm Ashika and I bring you the latest tips and insights on living and working abroad. And without wasting any more time, let's dive in. Now, let's start off with some context. In recent years, the UK has seen a significant influx of international workers. According to statistics in 2023, 337,000 visas were granted for applicants who were the main applicants in the UK. The bottom line is that there are job opportunities available for foreigners in the UK. Now, interestingly, employees born in North America, Oceania and India had the highest median earnings in 2022 and were most likely to be in high skilled occupations. In 2023 alone, the Home Office granted 350,000 health and care worker visas and 118,000 skilled worker visas. So the next time someone tells you that the UK doesn't have jobs, tell them this. Now, the UK has been in the news off late for some reason or the other and if you're unsure if the UK is the best place for you to move or not, here are some things you need to keep in mind. The UK has a developed economy that has rebounded from a recession, providing a secure environment for living and working. Salaries in the UK are competitive, especially in key industries like finance, tech and healthcare. The UK also has a robust and diverse job market with opportunities across various sectors such as finance, technology, healthcare, engineering and creative industries. Now, the average pay in the UK is £35,000, but if you are to get a job with sponsorship, in most cases, the minimum you'll need to earn is £38,700. The UK has strong labour laws that protect workers' rights, including fair wages, holiday entitlements, safe work conditions. Many companies prioritize work-life balance, flexible working hours, remote working options and generous holiday allowances. Now, for many foreign workers, working in an English-speaking country provides an opportunity to improve language skills, which is beneficial for your personal and professional growth in all honesty. The UK also provides access to excellent public services like transportation, free public education, free healthcare and social welfare. Many visas allow you to take your family along with you to the UK. The UK offers pathways to permanent residency and citizenship for foreign workers, allowing long-term settlement and stability. The UK remains a top destination due to its diverse job market and its vibrant culture. Now, let's get into the top five easiest jobs you can land as a foreigner in the UK complete with visa sponsorship. Number one on that list is healthcare. The UK is in dire need of nurses, doctors and caregivers. The NHS and private healthcare providers offer visa sponsorship to qualified professionals from across the globe. And with an aging population, this demand isn't going away anytime soon. The majority of the NHS staff in England are British, with an approximate 83.5% holding British nationalities. However, 16.5% people are foreign nationals, which means around 220,000 out of 1.4 million staff are non-British. Which also means that if you are looking to move to the UK for healthcare roles, you have a very high chance of conversion. In 2023 alone, 8,900 visas were granted to medical practitioners, 22,000 visas to nurses and 89,000 visas were granted to care professionals. Now here are some of the salaries for healthcare professionals to give you an idea of how much money you can earn in the UK. Medical directors earn around £103,000 per year. Neurosurgeons make around £94,000 a year. Anesthesiologists make around £93,000. Psychiatrists earn around £87,000 a year. Cardiologists earn around £79,000 a year. General practitioners earn around £65,000 a year. And the top organization you should be looking at for jobs in healthcare is the NHS. Now, if you are looking for healthcare roles, first of all, check the NHS for NHS jobs. There's gov.uk, Indeed, and also check ethical recruiters from here. Next up, we have the tech sector. The UK tech sector is booming and there's always a high demand for software developers, data analysts, cloud computing specialists and cyber security specialists. Many companies offer visa sponsorship to attract top talent from overseas. Businesses across the nation continuously seek for quality IT and tech talent 
and international experience can be a considerable asset. A large number of tech immigrants in the UK come from Asia, with India being the major contributor. 18% of people working in science, research, engineering and tech professions were non-EU born. Now, some of the average salaries were project managers with £43,000 a year, web design professionals with £28,000 a year, programmers with £34,000 a year, software development professionals with £31,000 a year, IT business analysts make around £37,000 a year, SEO managers make around £38,000 a year. And the top companies in this space are Google, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, IBM, BT Group, ARM Holding, Capgemini and Ocado Technologies. Now, for jobs in this space or any generic space for that matter, you should ideally check Indeed, LinkedIn, Read and Gov.UK jobs. Businesses in the UK also actively hire engineers from across the world to fill in positions ranging from civil engineers to mechanical engineers to electrical engineers. Now, among the highest paid, we have petroleum engineers with £75,000 a year and the top companies in this space are Chevron, Aramco Services and ExxonMobil. There's also biomedical engineers who make around £34,000 a year on an average and the top companies in this space are Expedent, Luton and Brain Lab. Then there's electrical engineers with £45,000 a year and the top companies are Boscalis, Ami and Mawson. There's also civil engineers who make around £41,000 a year and the top companies here are Acom, Atkins and Jacobs. Mechanical engineers make around £42,000 a year and the top companies are WSP, Arup and Arrival. Next up, we have graphic designers with roles in demand in advertising, marketing and tech companies. Now, coincidentally, graphic designers are also on the immigration salary list. The average salaries for a junior graphic designer are anywhere from 20,000 to 25,000 per year. Senior graphic designers make a little more with an average salary of 35 to 50,000 a year. Graphic design managers make anywhere from 50,000 to 70,000 pounds a year. Art directors earn anywhere from 45,000 to 70,000 pounds a year. A creative art director earns anywhere from £70,000 to £100,000 a year. UI or UX designers earn anywhere from £35,000 to £55,000 a year. And a motion graphic designer can earn anywhere from £30,000 to £50,000 a year. Now, some of the top companies in this space are Pentagram, Landor & Fitch, Wolf Orleans, Design Studio, Jellyfish, Deloitte Digital and Moo. Now, in case you aren't sure what the immigration salary list is, the occupations on the list are those that the Home Office considers in very short supply and feels they would benefit from a reduced wage level in order to increase supply. Now you can find out a lot more details on the immigration salary list from here. Moving on at number 5 are scientists that are in huge demand in the UK across various disciplines. The demand for scientists is driven by several factors including the need for innovation, research and development in numerous sectors. Chemical scientists working in nuclear fields and biological scientists are on the immigration salary list and around 18% of people working in this field are non-EU born. Now the average salaries in this field are biomedical scientists who earn around £47,000 on an average. There's clinical scientists who make around £50,000 on average, data scientists who make around £55,000, environmental scientists who make around £45,000, pharmacologists who make around £50,000 and chemists who make around £40,000. There's also biotechnologists who make around £50,000. Some of the top companies in this space are AstraZeneca, GSK, Johnson & Johnson, Pfizer, Novartis, Estella Farmers and Merck Group. And as a bonus, we have one more role, hospitality and tourism in the UK. Roles like hotel staff, chefs and restaurant managers are always in demand, especially in major cities and tourist hotspots. Many employers in the sector are willing to sponsor visas for dedicated staff, especially those who have a niche. Around 17% of the people working in the sector are non-EU born. The average salaries the hospitality industry helps you get is £31,000 for a restaurant manager, chefs with £32,000. Now the top businesses in this space are Marriott International, Hilton Worldwide, with Bread PLC, Intercontinental Hotels and Travel Lodge. But to be honest, if you're looking for a role in this industry, the smart thing to do is to check job portals like Indeed, which very often have openings for these roles. And the second thing for you to keep in mind is that there will be agencies for a lot of these roles that post openings. Be extremely careful when going through agencies to make sure they aren't scamming you. Because truth be told, there are a lot of agencies that scam people for jobs in the UK or based out of other countries. So do remember to do your research. Now, remember, if you are to work in the UK, 
you need to get the following. You need to be offered a job, which is a sponsored job by a licensed sponsor in the UK. You need to receive a COS, which is a certificate of sponsorship from your employer and you would need a work visa. Now, the work visa you're eligible for will depend on your job. If it's a health job, it will be a health and care worker visa. If not, in most cases, it will be a skilled worker visa. The visa fees will depend on the type of visa you're eligible for and the duration of the visa and whether or not you will have to pay the IHS or the immigration health surcharge. In the UK, only your employer can apply for your COS, but either you or your employer can apply for a visa. Now, the cost could come up to quite a bit. So remember, it is important for you to discuss this with your employer. Another thing for you to keep in mind, there is a salary threshold for jobs that offer sponsorship in the UK. Many of the jobs I showed you today have salaries that are lower than the salary threshold, and that might confuse you. But remember, that's the average of all of the salaries offered for that role in the UK. For instance, the average salary for chef, like I said, was £32,000. But to be sponsored, you need to earn £38,700. So you need to look for openings that offer more than the sponsorship threshold. And there will be roles like that because the average means that are obviously both people earning a lot higher and a lot lower than this figure. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.